All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to add a little section with uh, the note names down here, just letters, just C, D, E, F, G, and so on. And when you hover over those, you will see the corresponding notes on the fretboard, like when I, I hover on, when I have show multiple notes selected, I see all of the corresponding notes. So let's get back to the code and see if we can do that. First, we need to go to the index HTML file. And right down here, this time under the fretboard. So I am going to create a div with a class of node name section. Node name section right here. Good. And we are not going to add anything right here. We're going to do that dynamically from the JavaScript. So in our app.js, we should grab it up here first. And that is as we are used to. Let's call it note name section. Note name section. And we should have have that. Note name section. Boop, 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 boop. It looks right. So down here in our app object. Uh, right before show note dot, I'm going to add another method. I'm going to call it setup note name section. And here we are going to set up the note names. Let's think about what we want to do here. We want to every time we select in the browser, every time we select the flats or the sharps, we want them to change down here. So we want to use, we want to use these arrays up here as the content for it. So back down here, we are going to, well, I'm just going to set up a variable here called note names. Not going to give it a value yet. And then I'm going to check what accidentals we have. If they are flats, we're going to use the array with the flats. If they are sharps, we are going to use the arrays containing the sharps. So if accidentals, accidentals, that's equal to flats. And then else, it's going to be sharps. So if accidentals are flat, we are just going to set the variable we set here, just set that equal to, to that array. So node names will be equal to notes flat, which is this one here. And we are going to do the same for the, if it's sharp, so we're going to set the node names to notes sharp. All right, then we have that. Then after this, we want to loop over that. And I'm just going to take the note names. And we're going to run it for each method on it. And we need the note name. So we got to pass that in. And then we are inside this one. We want to create a new element for each note name. So we already have that on our tools object. So I can go uh, let note name element. Let that be equal to tools. Create element. And we want to create, in this case, I want to create a span tag. And the content should be the note name. Right. And then after this, I just want to append it to the note name section. So note name section, append child of note name element. Nothing is going to happen yet though, because we need to run this up from our app in it. And where's that? Let's put it right here. This run that 
So here in our browser, we get the node names and we get the flats. It's not very pretty, but we're going to style that in just a moment. And we get uh, the node names with the flats because flats is selected for as default. If I click on uh, on the sharps here, nothing's going to happen because we haven't yet set the, the values corresponding to whether it should be flats or sharps. So let's go back and do that first. Let's go to the code and in our accidental selector down here that's in our event listeners right here so after we set up the fretboard whenever you change the accidental selector we will we will run setup node name section let's check if it works now and we still have it here if i click on this one oh we're gonna get a lot of stuff here that's because we don't we're not clearing the the div uh, when we when we update so let's go back one more time and in our right up here we are gonna take every time we set it up we want to clear it so we're just gonna take the note name section right at the top and set the inner HTML to an empty string right so when we change now you will see I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it, it changes from flats to sharps. So that works. But let's style it up a little bit. In our styles.css. So all the way at the bottom here, I want to target the note name section. I just want to give it a width of 100% first. And color, I want the text color to be, hmm, to be white. So if I save this. And let's set the font weight. I want, I like them to be thin and crispy. So font weight. I set it to 100. Oh, they're so thin and crispy now. That's nice. And then I'm going to set the size. So font size. Let's just set it to 2.5 M's. Wow. It's beginning to look like something. And duh, 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 duh. I'm going to display flex so I can center them with justify content. And that would be center. So now they're in the middle. Let's space them out a little bit. And I'm going to, under this, I'm going to go, I'm going to target the span inside. Because remember, we put every single character, every single note name inside a span element. Okay, so in here, we want to space them out a little bit because they're a bit too close. I'm just going to close this panel here so we have some more space. And I will just give it a padding of 20 pixels, which will space them out. Well, ah, 20, maybe only 10. Oh, that's better. And then when I hover over them, I want to see a pointer. I don't want to see like this. I don't want to, I don't want the text selector cursor here. So I'm going to go cursor pointer. Okay. Then when I hover over, it will be a finger instead. So I want to highlight them also when I hover over them. So I'm going to target the pseudo element hover so note name section span hover we are gonna give it a color text color off zero zero baba -ba. so when i hover i'll get a nice a little bit lighter color than the teal color we're using up here uh, so it stands out okay so this note name section we're gonna listen for an event on that right down here in our event listeners I think it's somewhere around here we can add it so add event listener we're gonna listen for a mouse over 
and we're going to need the event. And then we need an arrow function like this. So whenever we hover, whenever we have the mouse hovering over this element, we want to find out what the target is, what the, what the inner text of the target is. And let's create a variable for that. So I'm going to type in let note to show. We want to get the value of the note that we want to show. Set that equal to event target. inner text and then we are going to uh, use this toggle multiple nodes that we created in the last video and remember because we are inside a callback function that runs on an event listener then we cannot use this so we're going to use app which is the object the name of the object that we are in and toggle multiple nodes And when we hover, we want to show them. But what do we want to show? We want to show the node to show the one we're hovering over. And we want to set the opacity to 1. All right, let's see if that works. Okay. Okay, we need a parenthesis here. Let's go back and check again. And something's going on here. When I hover, I'm showing all of them. I'm just going to... Refresh and C, D flat. Okay. But we also want to add another event listener on it because we want them to disappear when we, uh, when we, when we remove the mouse. So, I'm going to take this whole thing here, copy that. Just beneath, I'm going to add event listener and it's going to be a mouse out. And I am going to let nose to show, actually, we want to check first whether or not this, this setting up here, show all nodes, if that is selected, we don't want to remove them. We just want to let them stay here. So uh, let's check that first. And a way to do that is down here. We're going to create a conditional. So if show all node selector, that's, the, that's what it's called. If that is checked, or actually, if it is not checked, then we want to do it. So I'm going to add the negation operator here, the not sign. Then we can set this variable. And we can toggle it off. Put that one right beneath here. And we can set 0, opacity of 0 instead. So let's see if that works. Actually, I should probably just, if not, then we're just going to return. Then nothing should happen. Let's go back to the browser. Let's see. So, well, it kind of looks like it works. So when I hover over G flat, I see all the G flats, all the F's, all the E's. Let's try to show all notes. And that has been disabled, so we don't have a problem there. And let's try with the with the sharps. When I click the sharps here, I'll see all the sharp note names instead of the flats. And that's what we're going to see. So as an extra little bonus, I'm going to show you how to make it look a little bit more realistic with some wooden texture behind. Um, so in here, I'm just going to inside my fretboard folder, going to create a new folder, call it images. And inside of that, I will add this one here a wood pattern that i will link to in the description so you can so you can grab that it looks like this it's just a png that is uh semi-transparent and it has like a, a wooden pattern all over it so we're going to use that in our style css and let me find our fretboard where is it where is the fretboard here and in our background we're just going to refer to the url so after the color the url is Something like this. It's images. I don't need two dots, of course. And inside here, we have wood pattern like that. And I'm going to save. And you can see, or I don't know if you can, but th this is a wood pattern. And it uh, it stretches and it looks as it should. You know, it just keeps repeating. So now it looks a little bit more realistic. So that's all for now, guys. 
I'll see you in another video in the future pretty soon. Bye-bye.